Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 152. That is, what is mutation testing? Let me answer. Mutation testing is a white box testing technique in which the application source code is mutated. That is changed, mutated means changed in small ways to verify whether the executed test cases are resulting in bugs after mutation or not, okay? By changing the source code, uh, okay, in small ways, by changing the source code in small ways, we are verifying whether the test cases are resulting in the proper results or not, okay? Are resulting in the bugs or proper results or failures or whatever it is, okay? After changing the source code in small ways. So it's a white box testing technique in which the application source code is mutated that is changed in small ways to verify the executed test cases are resulting in bugs after mutation. Let me give an example so that this uh, particular statement will become more easy for you. For example, guys, uh, there is some application source code. Okay, let me write some source code for an application. Okay, application will contain a lot of code written by developer. Let's take only one portion of the source code. Okay, it says that if A is greater than B, if A is greater than B else, like this. Uh, here I'll write some pseudo code, guys. Okay, it's not the any pro. It's not specific to any programming language. I'll write some pseudo code. Okay print a is greater than b i'll say greater than b so this is the original source code of an application let's assume this is an original source code of a particular functionality of an application so else i'll say b is greater than greater than a like this some pseudo code fine so how to change this uh, pseudo code as part of uh, as part of performing the mutation testing Okay, how we are testing, how we are performing mutation testing. It's a white box testing technique in which the application source code is mutated, that is changed in small ways. If you assume this is the application source code, then how do you mutate it? How do you change it in small ways? Let's say the mutation I will do is, uh, I'll modify this greater than symbol to less than symbol, okay? Or any other symbol, not equal to symbol or less than or equal to symbol or different things. So this is a small change I have done. This is a small mutation I have done, okay, in the source code. So white box testing technique in which the application source code is mutated. Mutated means changed. In, in which ways? In small ways. Changed in small ways. To verify whether the executed test cases are resulting in bugs after mutation. Before changing the source code, before changing this source code, if you run the test cases, okay? Before changing the source code, if you have run the test cases, what results you are getting? After doing some mutation in the source code, after doing some small changes in the source code, again, when you run the test cases, Again, when you execute the test cases, are there any differences or not? You have to check, okay? Before, before mutation, test cases are giving some results. After mutation, the test cases should also give the results, but it should result in some failures or a different results it should give. If both are giving the same results before test cases and after, after test cases are equal, then there is a problem with the test cases. The test cases that are written for testing the application are not effective, okay? so. What is the purpose of this mutation testing? To check the quality of the test cases, guys, okay? By doing this kind of mutation at the source code level in small ways, we will check whether the test cases executed are giving the proper results after mutation or not, okay? To check the quality of the test cases, how effective the test cases are. If the test cases here, before, before executed test cases, before the mutation and after, after test cases, after mutation, if both are giving same results, that means there is a problem with the test cases, we have to, we have to do what? We have to create more effective test cases to overcome this problem. So the test cases are not identifying the defects which can be caused due to mutation. By doing these small changes, the, the application should behave differently and uh, okay, because of the mutation, the application should give different results. But if the test cases are not identifying that changes or not identifying such kind of bugs which are resulting in, intentionally we are mutating, right? Intentionally we are mutating the stuff. If the if the test cases are not identifying such kind of bugs because of the mutations or small changes in the source code, the test cases need to be improvised or to be made more effective so that such kind of differences need to be identified, okay? Before mutation, test cases should give some results. After mutation, test cases should give different results based on the mutation. If not, if the deviation is not in the test cases, that means test cases, something is missing in the test cases that we have to make them more effective, okay? And at same time, we can find the ambiguities in the code, which may cause the system to fail. So by doing this kind of small changes, okay, we can find out the different ambiguities 
okay different things in the code okay which can cause the system to fail so by 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 putting less than or for example if i put uh, less than or equal to symbol okay so what will happen so this may result in some ambiguities okay there uh, we can find this kind of ambiguities in the code which may result in the system to fail because of this uh, changes in small changes to the code the system uh, this particular code may fail okay they result in some failures such kind of ambiguities we can find and also we can main purpose is to make the test cases more effective and testing more effective by increasing the or improving the quality of the test cases by running the test cases before doing the mutation and after running the test cases after after mutation also we'll run the test cases to see any differences are there if differences are there we are good if differences are not there we have to make the test cases more effective so this is what is mutation testing guys so hope guys uh, you got the answer for what is mutation testing it's a white box testing technique in which the application source code is mutated that is changed in small ways the way this is a small way we have changed the code right in small ways uh to verify whether the executed test cases are resulting in bugs after mutation or not to verify whether the test cases are effective or not okay to verify the quality of the test cases whether the quality of the test cases is good or not still finding the mistakes after doing the small mutations or not okay intentionally we are mutating the code to check the quality of the test cases or to make the test cases more effective this is what is mutation testing so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye